Chow Tan. And welcome to the island of St. John. Now, St. John is 30 square miles, about 4,300 people live here, and it's most known for its pristine landscape and spectacular beaches. And this is because in 1956, Lawrence Rockefeller purchased and donated two thirds of this island to the National Park System. And it is here that I decided to come up with a dish inspired by the beauty of St. John and tropical taste. Now, I will tell you that this is the first time I'm going to make this dish, so let's hope it turns out. I've got a pot of water boiling. I'm going to salt it, and then I'm going to add about a half a pound of the large size um, seashells, pasta seashells. And we'll just let those cook until they're done. And while that pasta is cooking, I'm going to make a spice mixture by putting together one teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. I want to put some heat in here because there's a lot of sweetness coming up. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon or so of cumin. Combine all those spices with a fork. Now I purchased from the fisherman today this beautiful mahi-mahi. You can use other types of fish too. But what I'm going to do is just kind of lightly dust this mahi-mahi in these spices and I want to sear them in a hot pan. And what I've done is melt two tablespoons of butter with two tablespoons of olive oil. So I want a nice little bit of a crust on there. the perfect amount of spice. So far, so good. So I'll let that sear. It's been about four minutes, so let's take a look. Oh yeah. Searing those spices right onto it. Let that cook about another five minutes or so. Okay, this looks done. So I'm going to transfer it to a clean plate. Let that cool down a little bit. And we're going to deglaze the pan so we can make a sauce. And what goes into this is a half a cup of dark rum. And then this is cream of coconut, which is very sweet. So I'm only going to put two tablespoons of that in there. Then I'm going to scoop out about a cup of the pasta water and add that. So we'll just let that cook away, reduce just a little bit, have those flavors combined. And it's got all the spices in there too. Check in the pasta. Oh, needs another couple of minutes. While the sauce is reducing, I do have to just take a little taste of it. Just have to make sure the flavors work. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay, the pasta's done, so I'm gonna drain it. Put it back in the pot. And now, 
this beautiful Magi Magi. I am going to break it up with my fingers and kind of crumble it into the pasta. Like that. This fish is so beautiful and tender. All right, let me put this over here. Quick wash of the hands. Okay, just a couple more things. I'm going to pour in my coconut rum sauce. Look at how beautiful that has reduced. And I wanted to add just a little bit of freshness with herbs, so I have about a third of a cup of chopped cilantro. That adds some nice color too. And we just gently mix everything together. Now I'm going to serve myself some of this. I'm dying to see how, how it worked out. And I'm going to find a really cool place to eat this. Okay, here we go. Honest opinion, it worked. I don't think I'd change a thing about this recipe. It is absolutely delicious. It tastes like the tropics. You can take, you can taste the spices, you can taste the rum, you can taste the coconut. I also loved staying here at Bongo Bongo and cooking in their beautiful kitchen here on St. John. Cheers. Yeah.